There is a lot to reflect on this holiday season, the economy, politics, war. But our parents had many of those same worries, and we still managed to celebrate. 31 years ago, the economy was rocky, we had hostages in Iran, and someone had just shot John Lennon. Tonight, we got a look back at the stories WDEF aired from the Christmas of 1980. There are toys and games and dolls as far as the eye can see. But just what are the types of toys people are buying this year? Robbie Worley of A&M Toys in Highland Plaza explains. Oh, let's see, we've got uh, Star Wars. It's probably one of the biggest things. Space toys are really in. Let's see, uh, electronic games, Space Invaders, Cosmic Combat. Uh, dolls are, of course, hanging in there real good. Uh, Lego, probably space toys are really big this year. Barbie has been around a long time. She's probably one of the basic favorites. Tonka toys are really in. Stuffed animals are really big this year, too. We have a better selection this year than ever, I'd say. And there's even a board game about the family you just love to hate. A demonstration of ice sculpture and an ice melting contest were both held this morning at the TVA Credit Union Plaza downtown. The ice sculpture was created by Chef Gary Spitnelli of the Reed House. They would like a holiday theme, so we thought we'd do something like a snowman or something like that. If you haven't figured it out yet, the purpose of the contest was to guess how long it will take for the sculpture to melt and the person who comes up with the closest time will win $50. Believe it or not, this ice sculpture will eventually melt. It may take a while, though. Chef Gary Spinelli told me if the temperature stays in the 30s, it may take as long as three days. WGOW's early morning team, including Gary Mack, Beth Green, and Jim Reynolds, were all out at Miller Park around lunchtime today with loose-leaf notebook Christmas cards to be signed for the 50 American hostages in Iran. Gary Mack told TV12 how they got the idea for the cards. Well, actually, it was the idea of our sports director, Jim Reynolds, who's on the air with us every morning. And uh, we just got to talking on the air the other day about the fact that this is the second Christmas that uh, our fellow Americans have not enjoyed the freedom of exercising and spending the holidays the way they want to. And we just felt like uh, we still need to remember them and let them know that we're thinking about them and love them. The children at the Chickamauga Elementary School dedicated their Christmas program to the hostages in Iran. They felt because the Christmas season is a time when families should be together, they didn't want to forget our hostages so far away. School principal Lou Perfetti told TV12 it was second and third grade teachers who supervised the program. They were planning a Christmas program and they also got together cards for the captives in Iran and the two ideas just kind of melded. How did you coordinate all the children? Well, that's what teaching's all about. <laughs> keeping things going in a positive direction. And Reverend Jackson opened the Push Excel ceremonies with a prayer of remembrance for the late John Lennon. For John Lennon's wife and for his child, we pray a special prayer today. But for the John Lennons who may be shot down in the streets of Chattanooga, we pray that we would be inspired today to make up in our own mind to be warriors for peace and not warriors and warmongers for destruction. Eighteen years ago, the first 365 Club Christmas show was put on by the children of the Siskin Memorial Foundation. It was a great success and has become a tradition each year. The show is based on an original script by Mrs. Betty Cochran. She's one of the Child Study Center teachers. This year, the play is entitled Ye Old Calendar Shop, and a dress rehearsal was held this morning. Well, this was started many years ago by Mr. Mose and Mr. Garrison just simply to say thank you to the community for what they've done for the 365 Club for 365 days in the year. This play, Ye Old Calendar Shop, is the Siskin children's gift to area citizens. It says thank you for your support of the educational and rehabilitative programs for handicapped children. If the characters in this nativity scene seem true to life, it's because they are. They're members of the Delray Baptist Church in Lakeview, Georgia. This is the first time the church has presented its living nativity. It's the brainchild of Joe Williams, youth director at Delray. Pastor Bill Worley said the manger scene was designed to let those who see it know what Christmas is really all about.
Christmas really hasn't changed much in 31 years. Now, in case you don't remember that young WGOW radio personality, Gary Mack, he later became an anchor right here in this studio, and he just recently moved back in town. Welcome back, Gary. Now, coming up next, South Pittsburgh's